members. Order. Question number 11, the Honourable Trevor Mallard. Uh, Mr Speaker, my question is to the Prime Minister and asks, uh, is the Honourable Peter Dunn a suitable person to hold the position answerable in this House for the security of information held by the Government in light of him repeatedly declining to deny in the House yesterday he made the draft Kitteridge report available to a Fairfax reporter and, if so, has he received an assurance from Mr Dunn that he did not make the document available to any reporter? Mm -hmm. Right Honourable Speaker. Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, yes and no. Su supplement. Supplementary order. Question, order, order. Supplementary question, Honourable Trevor Mallard. Mr Speaker, is he the Minister responsible to this House for commissioning the Kitteridge report into the GCSB? the Henry report into how that report was made available to a Fairfax reporter and the reinstatement of the Honourable Peter Dunn to his ministry. But Honourable Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, yes. Supplementary question. Supplementary question, Honourable Trevor Mallard. Mr Speaker, has he, since he received the Henry report, received any further information that has helped him identify the source of the leak of the Kitteridge report into the GCSB? Honor, uh, right, Honourable Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, no. Why not? Supplementary, Supplementary question, question Honourable Trevor Mallard. What, if anything, has changed with regard to who made the Kitteridge report available since he said on the 7th of June that he could not accept Mr Dunn's assurances that he did not leak the draft Kitteridge report? Right, Honourable Prime Minister. Well, Mr Speaker, uh, what is true is that Mr Dunn, uh, oh, I accepted Mr Dunn's resignation uh, because he failed to comply uh, with the inquiry. What I've also done is accepted, as I've said to the House before, Mr Dunn's assurances that he's categorically ruled out playing any part in leaking the report. Another way of saying that would be, I've moved on. And don't worry, Trevor, one day David will move order, on when it comes order. to you as well. Supplementary question, Mr Order. Order. Supplementary question. Supp order. Supplementary question, the Honourable Trevor Mallard. Uh, Mr Speaker, does he stand by his statement in relation to the Henry report, quote, there is only one conclusion, end quote, you can take from reading the report, and if so, does he still believe that Mr Dunn is the person most likely to have made the draft Kitteridge report available to a Fairfax reporter? Uh, right, Honourable Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, in, part, in relation to the first part of the question, yes, in relation to the second part of the question, I accept Mr Dunn's assurances. Order. 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 Supplementary question. Right, Honourable Winston Peters. Uh, with respect to the Prime Minister's answer to the primary question, or the second part of the primary question, which was, has he received an assurance from Mr Dunn that he did not make the document available to any reporter and he said no. Preparatory to reappointment of Mr Dunn, did he ask Mr Dunn for his assurance that he did not leak the Kitter's report? Right, Honourable Prime Minister. Uh, Mr Speaker, no, because I accepted him at his word. Uh, just, just, as, just as I'm sure I will accept that member's word that he didn't discuss untoward things when he went to the dot-com mansion three times. Point of order. Point of order, Speaker. Point of order. Point of order, Speaker. the Right Honourable Speaker. Winston Peters. You have tended to be rather strict on people keeping to the point of the question and not going on too long. The Prime Minister gets up, demonstrates what a hopeless leader he is, and then begins to criticise the questioner. Whereupon you should have shot to your feet consistently to rule that he was out of order. I thank the member for his input today, but on this occasion, the question wasn't. It was um, was a bit more conv convoluted than that. And the prime minister certainly answered the question, but added something that did not help the order of this house. Question number twelve, Doctor Paul.